Now, from Bitcoin to passports, whether yours is stuffed in a drawer awaiting your next holiday or it's a vital part of your working life, not all passports are created equally. The Henley Passport Index is a global league of the most powerful travel documents measured by how many destinations they'll get you to without a visa. This year, the most powerful passports are issued by Spain, Germany, France and Italy in the EU, along with Japan and Singapore, allowing visa-free travel to 194 out of a total of 227 destinations. In second place, you've got South Korea, Finland and Sweden with access to 193 destinations. Denmark, Ireland, Netherlands and Austria are third. The UK, meanwhile, has risen two places to fourth place. Well, joining me now is Dominic Volek, who's Group Head of Private Clients at Henley and Partners, the people behind this index. Thanks for being with us today, Dominic. Just give us some sense as to what you think the biggest changes that we've seen over the years that you've been measuring these things to the, to, 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 to the power of these different passports. The general trend over the history of the now 19-year-old ranking has really been towards greater travel freedom. So, in fact, the average number of destinations uh, which travellers are able to access visa-free has nearly doubled from 58 back in 2006 to now uh, 111 in 2024. Uh, the, the other notable trend is, of course, the global mobility gap, as we refer to it. And, and that is the, the, the wider gap now that we see between those passports at the top of the ranking, such as the some of the EU members that you mentioned earlier in Japan and Singapore, um, who are able to access a staggering 166 more destinations than those at the bottom of the index, like Afghanistan, Syria, uh, and Pakistan. So those countries that are at the top of the league, what have they done to actually achieve that ranking or has it been a, a, a deliberate effort? Yeah, it's, it's very much about visa policy and, and this is a space that is actually extremely dynamic. I think every other week we see new visa waiver agreements uh, being announced by countries. If you look at those at the top of the list, they're largely driven by factors such as commonalities in their history and economic status. Uh, proactive foreign relations between those governments, and then, of course, reciprocal agreements. So that often, you know, assists in the process. Okay, Dominic Vorlich, there we'll have to leave it. Thank you for joining us from uh, Henley & Partners in Dubai.